Switzerland is a very small country, about 8 million inhabitants, but it's the largest trading hub in the world of commodities. Switzerland trades 35% of crude oil, 60% of metals and 35% of grains. And in recent years it has been an increasing discussion on how the Swiss commodity sector relates to what happens in the commodity sector in developing countries. The question is how could you improve responsibility of this sector vis-a-vis -vis those who fear harms due to mining etc. in other countries. And we felt as researchers that these questions, these issues need to be taken up more seriously by Swiss researchers. We sat together and we worked on a working paper to find out where does research stand and what could we contribute. And based on this working paper we have been asked by the Swiss academics whether we could do two fact sheets which illustrate for policymakers, students, for citizens in Switzerland abroad, where do we stand at the moment? What is it we still have to find out? The first fact sheet gives to the reader an overview of data of why is Switzerland relevant in commodity uh, production and trading. Fact sheet two focuses more on the situation in the host countries, the countries where the commodities are mined or produced. And this research shows that you often have short-term benefits, but also, in many cases, long-term harms. For example, many health risks which are associated to mining sector, environmental damages, very difficult labor conditions. And there is a risk of elite capture, the concentration of wealth in the hand of just a few people. So I hope that the fact is can bring people together to discuss the subject more broadly, that we will have more students who deal with these kind of questions and how uh, does the regulation we have here in Switzerland and Europe relate to developing countries? How does it relate to sustainable development? How could we improve policy and regulation in order to have more sustainable uh, environments both in the global north and in the global south. There's a role for science to play in, in this commodity debate.